uh, to explain what's happening right now. So, uh, essentially, I have gone through the route of picking Sayori, the girl on the left, who's usually really bubbly and energetic as, uh, the, uh, girl that we like this playthrough. And, uh, Yuri on the right is a super shy girl who, uh, also likes horror poetry and things like that, uh, which is a little bit weird. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, we just, I just went through the scene where, uh, you know, you admit your love to Sayori, and then um, you're supposed to be going and doing festival work with Yuri, but Sayori comes out, and she gets a little bit weirded out that you're hanging out with her after you just, you know, said all that stuff. Mm. Uh, so that's what's going on right now, essentially. Uh, screw it! I'm just gonna just go for just, super... Just do something. Do something! Super deadpan! Yeah. Of course! Yeah. Sayori beams! Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, <laughs> Yuri hurries off. So Yuri obviously has a crush on the main character as well. Uh, but Oops. since you've chosen Sayori, it's a bit of an awkward situation. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori! I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ha ha ha, well... I tried staying in my room. Oh, by the way, we just discovered that Sayori has a very terrible, uh, extreme amount of depression, despite being so bubbly and energetic all the time. Woo! Uh, yes. But my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know... How much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. <laughs> it makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. To be honest, the whole deal with Sayori's depression is like the deepest thing this game has got so far, and I'm sort of digging it. <laughs> That's all that matters to me. There's tears in your eyes. <laughs> tears start to fall down Sayori's face. You called it. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, not dead guy? <laughs> I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, not dead guy. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Dot, dot, dot. Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. Though, it's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. B but Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, not dead guy. <laughs> I'm really dead. scared. It's because I'm not dead, yes, exactly. <laughs> What are you scared of, Sayori? The fact that I'm not dead? <laughs> I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Not dead guy. I like you so much that I want to die. Don't say that in this game. Jesus, Sayori, do you know what you're doing here? Wow. That's how Jesus. I feel. Ah, oh, you just cursed yourself, didn't you? And, and... That's enough, Sayori. Don't say you're going to die anymore. Or you'll probably actually die. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if I, if you do, yeah, even if you don't understand all of your feelings, I know what you need the most right now. You need to play Rocket League, apparently. Gotta play that Rocket Gotta League, Gotta play man. Rocket League. Oh yeah! And that's what I'm gonna give you, Rocket League. 
Sayori. Well, I picked this before, so. I love you. And Rocket League, too. Eh? <laughs> Those are my true feelings about you and Rocket League. <laughs> So, there's no way you could like me more than I like Rocket League. I mean, you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you and Rocket League every day, it helped me realize that Rocket League is truly the most important person to me, and you're pretty cool, too. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day... With you by my side, I could be the best Rocket League player, and I know we'll both be happy. Oh, God. Not that guy. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Not dead guy. Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. And Rocket League. I and love Rocket you, League. not dead guy. I love Rocket League, too. I want to be with you forever. Me too. <laughs> I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What, what is, is this? Th oh, that's you. My bad. Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. You need to play more Rocket League. <clears throat> I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. This is actually a really well-written scene, and I'm totally ruining it. But it's, it's okay. Oh, it's but great. why? Even now... Why won't the rain clouds go away? Two words. Rocket League. Rocket League. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going away at all, not dead guy. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be playing Rocket League every step of the way. <laughs> That's all that matters right now. Oh, okay. I trust you. <laughs> Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what? What are you saying? I don't want us to think. I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Mm. Even if we really are a couple. Couple of Rocket League players, huh? Uh, uh, I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, not dead guy? Sayori gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Yeah. I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. You know what's best for me. Uh-oh. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more <laughs> uncertain when it comes to my skills in Rocket League or Sayori. I know that I love her, and I, I love her, and she loves me, and we both love Rocket League, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is, even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different to up my game in Rocket League. I know mm -hmm. these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the League. most important person to me. Yes, the most important Rocket League player to me, too. But I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Game on, bitches. No game, no life. Literature club. <laughs> yes, no game, no life. Literature club. More like Rocket League club. Am I right? Oh, no, yeah. you're not right. It's the uh -oh. day of the festival. Of all it's days, the day of festival, man. Yeah, of all yeah. days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori, but Sayori isn't answering her phone. Dun uh -oh. dun dun. Too much Rocket League. Too much Rocket League. She's really Didn't involved in that game. Uh, so actually, you probably, you guys probably can't hear it on your end, but, uh, there's, like, no music right now. So, oh. it's, uh, you know, it's usually some pretty happy music, but it's just sort of faded out and it's not there. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, I played Monica last time, so I guess I'll do it. Not dead, guy. You're <laughs> the first one here. Oh, Thanks goodness. for being early. Oh, he's playing Fortnite now. Gosh, now we gotta switch the game that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Thought at least Yuri would be here by now. 
You think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because the way I'm, uh, it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, not dead guy. I mean, especially after you exchanged with her yesterday. Oh, she knows. How does she know? Jesus Christ. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. Psychic. But, uh, maybe? I don't know what's going on. I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? There's no freaking way. She's, like, probably the mastermind behind this whole crap that's about mm -hmm. to happen. That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. This is giving me goosebumps already. Yeah, I don't know about uh, that. Ugh. Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. You and me both, not dead guy. Hey, you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. It's probably like dead bodies all over them or something. Yeah, yeah sure. I'm expecting some sure. It's probably darkness imprisoning me. All, all that, that I, I see. see. Absolute <laughs> horror. <laughs> all that I see. People bad at Rocket League. I oh, no. one of the pamphlets laid out at the test. Oh, yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so, too. I flipped through the pages. Each uh -oh. member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one I haven't read before. What the fuck? Oh, oh God, it's happening. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Thanks, Microsoft Sam. Uh, you forgot to you forgot the little percentage symbol at the top. It's like percentage. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm just gonna go with that. Oh Jesus! All right, well it's about to start. Uh oh. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Not dead guy. Uh. Doki doki, let's just up. <laughs> doki doki, get the fuck out of my head! Apparently, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. The poem feels completely different from everything else I already written. <laughs> no, really. No. Jeez. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori. So, ah, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I'm not feeling too good about this. I quickly leave either. the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls mm -hmm. that out after me. I quicken my pace. That's what you do, Monica. I okay. can't help but remember Monica saying, I hope you didn't leave her hanging. Oh, no. Are you fucking kidding me? Did she actually say that? Oh, she my did say God. that. Okay. She, she did say that. Uh, so, There's a lot of uh, weird stuff going on. I got a bad feeling. So I feel strangers. the need to tell you guys that uh, this is the part that I stopped. Uh, so uh, I have a vague idea of what happens, but uh, I'm probably going to scream. So let's see. What was I oh, thinking? Jesus. I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I reached Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer, since she's not picking up her phone, either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and mm -hmm. let myself in. Uh, -oh. uh mm -hmm. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. Dude, I don't think she's sleeping in the way that you think she is. I Dude. swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up at her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. 
Oh, God. I don't want to narrate this, Jesus. Sayori? <coughs> wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Oh, God, here it comes. Jesus. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. <sighs> I gently open the door. Oh, God, here it comes. Oh, that's oh, not that Oh, my bad. God, you mm-hmm. called it. Mm-hmm. Fucking called it. Mother of mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. I, uh, yeah, but I thought her Jesus. choice of wording was a little ominous. Is that you left her hanging? Oh, what the my fuck? God. Uh, what is happening? Has the curve. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus. Uh, what the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. Fuck, the distorted music from the, ha- the happy part of the game is playing. Mm-hmm. Paco, why'd you die? <laughs> why, Paco? There's no way this to- could be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. Okie dokie, let me I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. Cut her down at thoughts. least, dude? I know, what the fuck, man? Stop <laughs> monologuing and cut her the hell down. My swerving thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Paco, no! Nothing I could do to bring her back. Paco, why'd you have to die? This is so sad. You, you know? <laughs> this isn't well, yeah. some game where I can reset and try something different. Um, <laughs> I had oh. only one choice and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Uh-oh. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now... I can never take it back. Never. 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 Uh, I expect some re- That's it? No, the game's not over, trust me. It can't be over. It's not over, trust me. It's not over, not by a lot- Oh, look, that new- Mother oh. of fuck! Mm-hmm. It's just- yep. it's, a, it's a glitchy double of Monica Sprite, instead of Sayori now. Oh... And oh. the new game option is all messed up. The new game option is messed up. Uh, try, uh, try, uh, uh, try clicking on it, maybe. What What happens if I load game? Can I? Load I don't game? know. Well, I can't oh, load game. Files mm. missing or corrupting. Starting a new game. Oh, what, what the oh. fuck? Oh. Yeah. Um, I see an annoying t- girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Are you kidding the me? The girl this is... is... Blah, 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 my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you know each other for so long. Mm. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. I'm going to save really quick. Now that uh, all the save slots are empty, oh, wow. they are gone. Oh. There is no going back, apparently. Yep. Uh, but if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and light blah, 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 catch up to me. What the fuck? Whoa. What the fuck? What is happening? Ah, what the fuck? Um, that was me it, making it's that an voice ordinary voice. school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. 
Uh, meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's another time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games that, excuse me, anime. By the way, this is the exact dialogue from the beginning of the game, but apparently she's been deleted. Holy mm -hmm. crap. Yeah. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I Is the music up... the same? So far, but it glitched out when she showed up. Mm. I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with, particularly when my best friend is fucking dead. Yes, I That's no a glitch. But yes, I guess I have this no choice but to start with the anime club. Not dead god fucking <laughs> goddamn it, Monica. What do you want? <laughs> this is different. Yes. Bit. This is pretty different. Monica? The last time it was uh name redacted who came up to talk to the main character. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my I goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Um Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in Smash. In Smash, yes, the most popular girl in Smash. Monica. Yeah, she's been playing Smash for years. Yes. Mm -hmm. A new challenger approaches. It's Monica. She's glitching everything the hell out. Smart, mm -hmm. beautiful, athletic. So yeah, this was about Sayori originally, wasn't it? Or I, redacted. That's well, I'm pretty sure that's what happened last time was that she was the one who came up and told to join Yeah, yeah, because she mentioned that the one girl was making uh, cupcakes or whatever. Right. So what if is, is Monica trying to be like the actual love interest in this game? So she's like fucking everything up? Is that what's going on? I don't know. Maybe? That I sounds like know. a good guess to me. Uh I guess we'll this see. This absolutely did not happen last time. No. <laughs> Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Oh, what did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Ah, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing and the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? The Death Club. Actually, I'm starting a new one. Wait, it was Sayori's club before. What the hell? Uh -oh. I, I think... I, no, I think uh, Monica... Oh. Uh, mm. I Saw think Monica that. was still the president of the club, right. but... She was, but, like, Sayori was the one that said, Hey, I joined this club, why don't you join this club? She was, yeah. Um, and it glitched out when she said literature club. Great. You mean the Rocket League club? Oh, sorry, no, the Fortnite club now. The, oh, yeah. the glitchy as hell, not actual game club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you guys have so far? Um, ah ha it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. Only three. Uh, only three. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Four. Wait a minute. Because um, before we had uh, Monica... Okay, no, it is three. So nobody else has died yet. All right. Yeah, uh, it's it, really it was hard. Monica, Yuri, and the girl whose name escapes me, and Sayori. Natsuki, yes. Natsuki, yes. Uh, it's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry, fucking death. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga selection, collect whatever, in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. She, she's not. No, not really. Besides, a member is a member, right? Did Monica say she? Huh. Hey, not dead guy. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, isn't there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. 
please. Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. You have plenty of reason to refuse. Run away mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I the could. Brainwasher. Check it out. The brainwasher. The brainwasher, yes. Ah, awesome. You're really sweet, not dead guy. You know that? <laughs> um, not dead. Yeah. It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Uh, mm -hmm. man. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Mm -hmm. Probably quite literally. Uh, I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back. And I brought a guest with me. Fuck. What was that? Eh? She's girl... Okay, she was girl one before. All right. Yes. A guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, not dead guy. All words escape me in this situation. This club... Is full of incredibly cute girls who are not dead yet! Yay! But there's one missing! Oh, there's one missing! So, let me guess. Uh, there's one missing. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? Uh, what? Uh, no, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yep, I do. Uh, yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. Uh, why do I get the feeling Yuri is going to be the one who's going to be affected by this playthrough if it is just a playthrough? Yeah, I uh, I think that's going to happen. Yuri was the second closest person to Not Dead Guy, so I can imagine that if Monica's the mastermind, that it's going to be her. Mm -hmm. uh, so I ran into Not Dead Guy in the classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought in anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry, I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, not dead guy? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica, Monica and Natsuki sit across the room from each other. Monarchy, yes. They fuse. They fuse. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. Let's do a project. 